Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and today what I have for you guys is some gameplay here using the CUDA SMG on the map Nuketown and in today's video I'm going to actually be talking about the best perk in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. This is in my opinion of course. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 has one of the best balanced games in a while which I'll be talking about and the best perk in my opinion. But before we get into this let's make sure if you guys are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button. The channel has been growing at a rapid pace so thank you to all the new subscribers. Also be sure to drop a like or a dislike. I'm looking for some feedback on this video so likes or dislikes are greatly appreciated uh, after the video when you're done watching and let's get right into into the video so what I'm going to be talking about today is the best perk in my opinion. But as I've said before, this game is extremely well balanced compared to previous Call of Duties. I think like Advanced Warfare, the best guns were it's either the BAL or the ASM-1. And in this game, a ton of people will say different guns are the best, different stuff are the best, different perks are the best. And I'm going to be talking about the best perk in my opinion. Now, I've seen people say that Hardwired is the best perk. And Hardwired is a good perk. It's definitely a good perk. It does a ton of things for you. It makes sure you, it makes sure that those counter UAVs don't affect you, those EMP grenades don't affect you. It it also helps against those trip mines and stuff like that and against the tracker and also against the sixth sense so uh, that's definitely a very good perk hardwired however there is another perk in the second perk slot actually most of the perks in this game that are good are in the second perk slot you have fast hands you have anti up you have hardwired you have scavenger you have pretty much all the good perks in this category and I'm gonna tell you guys my favorite perk in this game which is fast hands now this may come as a shock because you guys might think may think you know fast hands from previous Call of Duty wasn't that good it's like fast hands why do you want to switch between your weapons fast but that's not for the reason why I use it so let me read the description of fast hands and throw it up on the screen right now so fast hands is a perk 2 and it's available by default at level 1 you can swap faster between your primary and secondary weapon and back to your weapon after performing an action now this is huge after you're performing an action like you're hopping over something you're doing something you're throwing a grenade or something like that you get your weapon back up faster which is going to be huge to help you win gunfights so you really do need every advantage in gunfights in this game because there's no toughness you know, a good player is not going to be able to win every gunfight because there's no toughness. So you need every single advantage to get that first shot off that you can. This uh, fast hand says, after performing an action like using an equipment, you also aim down sights faster when sprinting. This is a huge thing. It's like a built-in quick draw. Me personally, I'm a rushing type of player. Now, I recommend fast hands if you're a rushing type of player. If you're not, this perk will not be the best for you. You'd rather go with like a scavenger and, I don't know, some other perks, ghost or something like that, tracker. But uh, this fast hands is absolutely deadly. After you're sprinted, you're going to aim down faster. It's a built-in quick draw, and it's very deadly to win in those gunfights. Now, in this gameplay, I partner it with uh, also a normal quick draw I believe I have on this CUDA, and I just win a ton of gunfights simply for the fact that I'm quicker than the enemy. And having this fast hand is really huge. When you take it off, you won't notice it like when you first put it on, but if you try to take it off and use like a slower assault rifle or something like that, you're going to notice. You're going to say, why am I scoping in so slow? And it really is a lot harder to do. I definitely recommend fast hands on any sort of Russian class or on a sniper or on like a shotgun like the Argus. We're going to have to quick scope people with the shotgun. This perk is really good. Also, fast hands has another use. It says it also resets the fuse of frag grenades when you pick them up. This can be useful. Um, I mean, it's really not going to happen that often where you see a frag grenade on the ground. You try to pick it up and throw it back. That is really a one in a million type of play. Hail Mary type of play. But it's just another thing on there. And that's why fast hands is, in my opinion, one of the best perks in the game. Now, one setup that's really good to use would be fast hands and the hardwire because as you guys can see I'll read out what hardwire does here hardwire grants immunity to counter UAVs power core and EMP grenades and then proximity based lethal and tactical equipment won't be triggered by you such as the trip mines and stuff won't go up when you rock over them and it also counters the tracker and the sixth sense by reducing your digital imprint which is pretty cool hardwired is you know gives you strong protection against these specific threats that may cripple you and it's also available by default so a good setup to run will be both of these perks until you have scavenger because scavenger is a perk that is kind of like you really do need it if you plan on going on a big streak however if you don't plan on going on a big streak or you're just you know you're an average 1kd player or something like that try running hardwired and fast hands with the two uh the double perk two and that's absolutely a crazy setup you can do quite a lot of work with this setup trust me on that one and even if you do like to have scavenger i'd recommend scavenger and fast hands on your smg classes and then maybe try out scavenger and hardwired on those ar classes that's probably why i would put it but fast hands is definitely the best perk in the game and you guys might not agree with me now but once you slap this thing on and get a few quick kills because that thing's going to save you and this let, let me reiterate why it's the best perk in the game this game is trying to nerf pub stompers this game 
there is no toughness. There's, it's hard to win a gunfight in this game. People can be jumping, people can wall run, people can freaking blow you up with a flamethrower in this game, you know what I mean? It's hard to win a gunfight, so you need to make sure you're getting that first shot off. And quick draw, along with this fast hands, really does give you that advantage and really does help you to get that first shot off, and that's why I say it's the best perk in the game. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. Once again, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. I'll have another video out tonight. I've been pumping out the gameplays and the tips and the class setups for you guys. I really do appreciate all the support. Leave a like or a dislike, whatever you think this video deserves. I'd appreciate that. And as always, subscribe for a cookie and don't lucky. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'm out. Peace.